This is Christine. I'm an artist from Northern Wisconsin. This work is part of a series I've been working on for ever since the winter began. I started working on a whole bunch of flowers and if you follow my blog, you'll see that I've talked about the flowers and because I'm a conceptual artist, you'll wonder why I do flowers and it's all about love. And I'm calling this the Just Because series and it started out with just because I love you. But people give flowers for a particular reason. It's, it's to let people know you're thinking of them, that they're special, that you love them. Um, for whatever occasion, you want to show them you're thinking of them. And a lot of times, so the flowers die. But with a painting, if you give a painting of flowers, it lasts forever. And the memory of why you did that lasts forever. So I just thought that was a cool concept to work with, just because I love you and it's all about love. So this is a piece I did in the Just Because series. And um, it's a bunch of wildflowers that could be picked out of my garden. And um, it has about, probably six layers on it. And if you look at it closely, like I like to do with a lot of my work, you can see all the different layers. You can see that I've painted over some of them because they didn't work, and I brought other areas out. That's how I paint. I, I start with a layer, um, I paint over parts of it that I don't like, I bring out those parts, then I paint over those parts that I don't like. And so this piece, um, it was done on a canvas that I think the struggle is really important. And this piece was done on a canvas that I, uh, I cut and I primed it. And if you don't, I thought I took into account the amount of shrinkage the canvas would have because I have some stretchers downstairs that I'm going to paint canvases for and stretch them across. But this one shrank so much that I ended up with an almost square piece. It's 43 by 43 or thereabouts. And it's on an eight foot by eight foot wall. So if you look at the whole vastness of it, you can see that there's a stool down here and it helps you give a perspective of how, how um, large the piece is and how it might fit in your room. So um, I'll be videotaping other pieces that are small, but you definitely do need to understand when you're looking at things online that while everything looks good and everything might look the same size, that in paintings you have to figure out what the size is and what the size you're looking for. And I really like all the, the flowers that I brought out. There's sunflowers or cone flowers. I put the Queen's Anne lace in some of them because I like them. This is my regular color palette and um, I think uh, I, I really like, I've started adding some pinkish, purplish colors to it, but the detail is what everybody goes up to and looks at and they go, oh my gosh, look at that. And oh my gosh, look at that. And they just become absolutely fascinated with the detail in the piece. This piece here doesn't look like anything it was when I first started painting it. And when I start painting pieces, I always give myself a challenge. And the challenge I started out with this piece is to paint horizontal, make my brush works horizontal, go like that. And uh, when I filmed the piece as I was beginning it, there was a lot of dramatic cobalt blue up at the top with brush work going this way and then some yellow going down this way. And as I worked on the piece, that was the very first layer, as I worked on the piece, you can see that nothing of that beginning ended up in this work. And that is frequently what happens with me. And I didn't accomplish what I was trying to accomplish, which was to paint horizontally. I went back to my comfortable round mark making, and I am starting to put a few lines in the work, but um, didn't accomplish it. Still working on that, but haven't gotten there yet. Look for videos as I do new works, and if you need a video done of a piece that I've already painted and haven't videotaped it yet, just email me at christine at christinealfrey.com.